Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Seasons. I'm Landros and we're at episode 3. Uh, Jesse's getting ready for work and Elena has already just gone to bed. Oh, Jesse, did you clog the toilet? Yes, you did. Oh, my Sims, they just love to clog toilets. I just don't get it. Alright, first thing we're going to do, since it is raining and it's going to rain all day, we need to get these guys some umbrellas. So let's go into my mode. And I would assume it's under outdoor activities. I'm not mistaken. But now we gotta look for it. And this becomes the hard part. Trying to find it in all of this. Okay. I don't see it. So let's just make it easier and we're just go, gonna go right into filtering it by the collection. Oh, I love when it's all blocked out to show us what we can't make or we can't afford. Alright. Umbrellas. Oh, there's one. That's a parasol. Uh, rain Disruptor? Is that what we call it now? Yeah, but that's not going to be a good one for him. Okay, that'll work for Jesse. And let's see, what about for Elena? She's going to get the colorful one. Alright, I'll make sure I get the right one. Alright, so Jesse, I'm going to have to make sure you get that in your inventory before you leave for work. I don't think you can pick it up and move it. Wait a minute, yeah, I think you can. Let's see if you can. Yes, you can. Good. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and get Elena's because I think when we looked at the weather, which we don't have a TV yet, um, we're going to have heavy thunderstorms and then we're going to have hail on the day after the festival, I believe. So it's going to be doing this all day long. I'm going to go ahead and jump out of here and while he's finishing breakfast, she's sleeping. Let's go over here and look and see what's going on at the festival. If anything has changed, because I, I may be wrong, but I thought it changed throughout the entire week and it added more stuff. But so far, I come on, load up. I see basically the same things, although it is still 6 o'clock in the morning, and I think it takes a little while in the morning until it starts up. Hmm. Nothing here, nothing different. It's still the same. We didn't skate yesterday and we didn't do this. So we need to actually make sure we come back and take care of that. Alright, Jesse, are you still eating? If I click on you, I'd know. Oh no, he's going off to work. We need to make sure he does exactly what he's supposed to at work. Oh, he did use his umbrella. Okay, that's nice. Okay, he can work hard. He knows everybody. Let's go ahead and make sure we know our boss really well. Hmm. Getting a lot of lag. I'm wondering if I can fix that. Hang on just a moment. Okay, we'll see if that did the trick. Looks like we just got a little bit of lightning. I didn't hear any thunder yet. And I'm waiting. Alright. Really, you couldn't just run in? I don't know. Alright, what is she doing? Does she get oh she's got enough already? She shouldn't be up. Oh I guess she is. Okay, there's our lightning. Well Elena, what are we gonna do with you if you've got all this time? Did you learn your Christmas skill? Yes, you did. But you need something for your job. You need the guitar. So we're going to go ahead and let you practice that. So at least you can improve. This would be a horrible day to go out to the festival. But I could send you. No, I don't want to risk getting you electrocuted with lightning. Alright, I'm going to look down the street here at Sunset Valley and all this rain. It doesn't look too bad. Can't see the water. You barely make out the lighthouse way out there. So yeah, not a good day to go out. I do like the sound of the wind, and I like when you see the uh, the trees. And they're swaying in the wind. It's misleading because it doesn't look like it's as bad. Hmm. All right. Well, unfortunately, they don't have a whole lot that they can do at this point. Oh, good. She's going to clean up. And we don't have enough money to buy anything that we need. We're, only, we're down to 213 simoleons, so we're kind of messed up. She doesn't have any wishes at all. She doesn't want to do anything. 
What does he want to do? A water slide? Yeah, with the rain. I think he already got a water slide. You want a dartboard. We can't afford it, but I want a dartboard too. Oh, you do need to learn the handiness skill, don't you? Um, we're going to get rid of this. We're going to use that one right there. Well, we definitely have a reason to stay inside now because I saw the lightning and I heard the thunder. So we're not getting out of it. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with you? Oh, he's uncomfortable. Why are you uncomfortable? Because you're hungry and you're wet. Well, I tried. I got you an umbrella. All right. He's still got... Oh, he's working the whole week. Wait a minute. I thought that he had... No, he does. He has the, the festival day off. I can barely see that. It is white. I was going to say, I thought he had three days off. And Elena, you don't have any time off anytime soon, do you? Well, you got tomorrow off. And I'm really curious. I want to know if you actually have leisure day off. It'll be nice. Could send her over to meet people. Let's see, there's nobody here. We can go visit the Alvies. We do need to get to know some of our neighbors. Let's see. Sekimoto's. Yeah, why don't we just go meet the neighbors? That'll get you out of the house. And here comes the paper boy. He doesn't want to get wet either. Okay, you're going to think about it, right? Yeah, you do need to change, because I don't think they'd want to see you dressed like that. There you go. Alright, let's get your umbrella out. Oh, this is dangerous. We're just trying to get her electrocuted, aren't we? We're just asking for it. But we do need to make some friends here. So, you know, that's awful. They should wait until they actually get right up here into the house. What are you doing? At least she's not got the soap movement. Alright, hopefully somebody's home, because it looked like somebody was. Oh, I never even noticed they have a deck up here at the top of their house. I've never been in this house. And how long have I been playing this thing? Almost a year? Wow, I've never even seen that. I guess because somebody always is living in this house and we don't ever come into it. Well, I see a baby chair right here through the windows, so... Come on, I can't see him. Alright, we'll just wait until we get invited in. Here we go. And then maybe we can go in the house. There we go. Oh, this is nice. Looks a little congested. Alright. Let's go ahead and get friendly with this guy. Ask him about his career. Friendly, get to know. Worst get to know. There it is. Oh yeah, you're gonna just leave your baby over here and not bother with him? You'd rather talk to the girl? Okay. Are you the dad? Alright. Uh, we asked about the career. Let's see what else we can do. Talk about the rain. That's a good one. Okay, he learned. We learned that Layton is ambitious, and it's in professional athletics. Oh, Jesse, you're already gone to work. You have got to do something, Jesse. This is awful. You know, everything else is fine. Why are you? Oh, he's okay now. Give me a break. All right, let's see what she wants to improve her guitar skill. We could play the guitar for him. I wonder if he'll join us if we start a jam session. I doubt it. Probably ask us to leave, and that's okay, but... It, oh, he's gonna eat. Where did the baby go? Oh, the baby's over here. Okay. Sam Sekimoto. Okay, well, at least we have somebody else that we know in this town. Oh, don't worry about talking about the rain. See if he'll do anything. He'll make us leave. At least escaping the pit. There comes a time in every soldier's life when wallowing in the pit should no longer be acceptable. For helpful hints, tips, and strategies on escaping this military training, uh, training cliche, read Getting Out of the Pit. Okay, so we got to read a book. Well, you can do that. Oh, we can't buy the multi-tab. We don't have enough money. Oh, is she going to sit outside and play the rain? 
You can't play in the rain and hold your umbrella. I guess... Oh, man, no. You can't do that because we're going to get electrocuted. Stop it. Go inside. Actually, let's go on home because you're going to be going to work pretty soon, too. We tried to make friends. Why is she getting nothing? She has no moodlet whatsoever. And I don't mind. Uh, no moodlet is odd. Normally they get something. Alright, Jesse, what are you doing? You're still sucking up to your superior and you've eaten. Oh, you've got plenty of energy. We could actually go to the festival, but who wants to go in this weather? Don't leave us. We're going with you. Yeah, unfortunately, she doesn't really have anything that she wants to do, either, except learning the guitar skill. Okay, why are you lagging so bad? I'm not doing anything else. Alright, let's see. Why don't you go ahead and practice here until the carpool comes, because it's coming. And whenever. Three hours. Yeah, she don't have much time. We'll go see what Jesse's going to do if he's going to get out of work. He works till 2 o'clock. can't do anything over here. When he gets off work, I don't know where we'll take him. We gotta go do something. Okay. Oh, it's very overcast. Oh, that's a pretty cool effect. I mean, I'm so used to it being all bright and clear, so now you really kinda have to know where things are if you, if you can't tell. Wow. Alright. You need to do something with your athletics, so I think what we'll do Athletics not bad, but we're going to send you over to the gym as soon as you get out of work. You're going to hate me for it, but we got to work on that. you got enough energy, you'll be fine. And let's see how she's doing. Are you anywhere near? Okay, load up. Alright, yes you are. You just got that one. Okay, she finally got a moodlet for having her wish fulfilled. Very nice. Yeah, Lane is getting ready to go to work. The house is fine. They didn't leave any food out. So we should be good for that. So Jesse, he needed to learn the charisma skill as well. So all he knows is athletics. He should be at a level 3. He's only at a level 1. So he's about to get out. She'll go. I wonder if she will stop playing on her own. Sometimes they don't do that. They'll just continue playing. and Then they'll be late for work. Alright, she's got 10 minutes, and he's got 10 minutes. This could be very difficult to get them really connected as far as a relationship. They're going to really have to work on it, hopefully, tomorrow if she, takes, if she gets the day off. I think we picked the wrong career for them to have a relationship. Alright, Jessie's out of work. Yeah, she's not going to stop until I tell her. Jessie, you are ready to go, aren't you? So make sure she's going to work. Change your clothes. What do you wear for the music career? Okay. I guess that's what you wear. Yeah, it takes you more time to get your umbrella open. You probably get soaked from that. Oh, we got a dog. A stray dog. We could adopt a dog. Nah, I don't want to adopt a dog. I love dogs. But, there are a lot to take care of. Alright, have you met everybody? I think you have. Kevin, or Jason, I'm sorry. I want to say Kevin, but I'm not. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, look, it's leaving the trail marks from the from the tires. In the, it doesn't do it everywhere, but it does it when it goes around through, like, through a really deep puddle. That's pretty cool. Like right there. Which you can't see because of the building. Alright. Let's go inside the gym and let's get... Why are you so upset? Because you're having no fun. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm having fun. We're just going to have to catch up. Okay. Let's get in here. Let's go upstairs. And we're going to work out on the treadmill first. And you already know how to work out without breaking a sweat, so that's what you're going to work on. Now, over here in the pool... I did put a diving board in the gym. So I put it right here, and that way they can come over here and do whatever they got to do. I tried, I really, really tried to put in uh, the sauna from Sunlit Tides, 
it wouldn't fit in this room. It would fit over here, but I had to pull everything out. And then the, it just didn't look right, so I finally ended up just taking it all out. But I think I did something else here, and I do this in most of my... No, I didn't do it here. All right, I'll, I'll have to show you on another episode of somewhere else where I've done it. But it makes your gems workable because some things they can't do. All right, he made 261 simoleons. That's good because we do not have a lot to spare. Who's working out with us? Molly French. Good old Molly, who has a daughter. We actually married her in one of my episodes, and the daughter hated us, so, you know. I always remember her for that. Okay, and who is this woman? River McIrish. Oh, that's, um, isn't that her boss's wife or daughter? Oh, I forgot who her was. It's Styles McGraw, so that's right. I think it's Styles McGraw. Yeah, so they're not the same. Alright, you continue working out. I did put these um, pull-up bars from Showtime in the gym just to give them something else to do, and I believe I put in an extra treadmill. So just to make it a little bit different, because normally they come in here and they're always waiting for a treadmill. So I just went ahead and did that. I don't think I did anything else downstairs. I left it pretty much as it is in the game. So there's just a few lots that I've changed up a little bit, but not many. Oh, who's that? Is that uh, Jamie? Yeah, Jamie Julina. Okay, so really there's not a whole lot. We could have gone to... Let's see, there's not another gym here. So that's really all we can do. Alright, you are over on the other side. Yeah, unfortunately it's a rabbit hole career, so we can't really see anything. But you can look out. If I can go through these buildings. It's not wanting to work with me today at all. Oh, I think that's one of the wildflowers that grows right here during the festivals. What is this? It said something mushroom. Or maybe that came with, um... Why are you doing that to me? Spotlight mushrooms. Maybe that came with Supernatural. I don't quite remember. Oh, the fish are jumping and, uh, nobody's at the festival. Go figure. Oh, wait, somebody is. Poor guy that's working the register. These poor guys out there in the rain. Oh, that's not good. Well, tomorrow, it, I think it's tomorrow. Tomorrow it should be a decent day. No, it's actually Thursday. So when they say there's going to be weather effects, it doesn't mean that it's going to be just for a couple of hours. I really expected it just to be very quick and then it was done. It's an all-day event. And unfortunately, you can't get the weather to pop up even after you've checked it. You have to go back and check it again. All right, what am I doing for you? You've got all these things. Oh, we wanted to do a strength workout. Sorry, buddy. Floating in the sea. There are thousands of other fans floating around in the sea. Uh, in the, sea the sea of sea fans, and it's hard to stand out as a distinguished young fan. Your boss reckon... Oh, gosh, they both got to read. Okay. All right, you're going to get off that, and we're going to get you to do a strength workout, because that was your wish. And what do you want to do? You want to sing karaoke? We could do that. Why do you want all these water things to... Oh, you could go skinny dip here. I don't know if you get in trouble for that, but you do it. Okay, we do this, and we'll get our wish, and then I can go ahead and take care of another one. Oh, he did get more lifetime reward points, but she is way ahead of you. Come on, you got plenty of energy. But I'm not going to keep you up that late. Alright, so we got that one done. You want to go skinny dip in the pool? Why not? No, you can't just get it up here. It's a public pool. I mean, you can, but I think it's because there might be young people in here. We could go skinny dip at the other pool. This one right here. Let's see if anybody's there. Yeah, I know I should be working on this skill to build this skill up, but he has time. Alright. He's going to head over. I want to go in and look at the pool. I don't know that I put diving boards in this one. Yes, I did. I can kind of see him coming up. I put four. I loaded them up. You can't even skinny dip here. No. Oh. Is the rain stopping? No, it's still going. It's not too bad, though. It's just kind of a light, a real light drizzle. Oh, no, it's actually stopped. Tell you what. If it stopped raining, we're going to go to the festival. 
stopped. Yeah, it's definitely stopped. Alright, we're gonna go visit the Summer Festival. Cause... Well, it's not raining. You can get rid of your umbrella. Come on. Or did it stop raining? No, it didn't stop raining. Well, you, just, you can't just walk across the street. You're going to really have to go ahead and take a, ta a cab all the way over. That's crazy. Alright, so he's going to go over and... Yeah, it's still raining. We, can, we shouldn't be doing this. But these poor guys have to work it. Maybe we can play soccer in the rain. That would be fine. wonder if they'll do it. I said shoot out. No, practice. Uh, chess tournament. He wants to win. We don't even know how to play chess. We're not going to do that yet. We'll do it later. Okay. Where are you at? Go ahead and play soccer for a little bit. I want you to at least get some use out of the festival. You think you can really play soccer with an umbrella? I don't know. About to find out. Yeah, we're going to have to make sure that we can get some time off um, for Elena, because this is not fair. She doesn't ever get to go. Who is this? Paris Diamond. Alright, I don't know who Paris Diamond is. We could have had a shootout. Or we could ask somebody to join us. Who do we want to ask? Oh, I know Christopher Steele. Let's see if he'll join us. I did ask him. Is he coming over? I like Christopher Steele's house. I had it. I modified it one time. What is that? Oh, it's birds. I had it and I modified it really just for my entire family. It was pretty good. It's a nice, nice, easy layout. Are we waiting on him? Where'd he go? He doesn't want to get wet. I can't say as I blame him. Okay, this was the face painting. We don't want to get our face painted. We could get a tan. For 90, 90 simoleons? I don't think so. Wait, he wanted to get a greeting card picture. I'm just all over the place. I'm sorry. Alright, let's go take a greeting card photo since it's raining and Christopher Steele's not going to come over here and play. As much as we would like him to. So to take a greeting card photo, I think you you can have a place here at the festival, but it hasn't shown up yet. It'll probably show up on actual uh, leisure day. But you can go to... I know the City Hall has a chance to do it, and there's somewhere else you can go and take a photo. And that came not with Seasons, but it came with the patch. So I haven't done it yet. I don't know why. Just forget about it, I think. Alright, going up here, you go ahead and take your photo. And we'll see what it looks like. Oh, she's now not doing too hot. Why? Because you're stressed? You're stressed by meeting mus musicians? Huh. Well, you're not hungry, so you got fed there. He's kind of hungry. Elena, you left work. Why don't you come over here and you do the same thing? Let's get out of here. I don't want you to go home. Oh, it's already 9 o'clock? Jesse. Oh, uh, yeah, Jesse. We got to get you home. Boy, I hate these careers I chose. I shouldn't have done this. I should have made them gamblers. And then that would have been just fine. All right. So, Jesse, I told you to go home. Elena, she made 123 simoleons. All right, that's a great greeting card. You can share this with your community friends online. You can also share. Um, I don't want to share it. <laughs> yeah, not not quite the not quite the picture I was expecting. All right, he's just improved his athletic skill to level two. That's fine. She's going to go on home first. Pretty much an uneventful day, just a really rainy, nasty day. But I loved it. So let's see, she's got plenty of time. She can actually go in here. She's not tired. Well, she gets kind of tired, but she can work on her guitar skill. Jesse, buddy, you got to get home and get to bed. Because, let's see, yeah, you're tired. You're kind of hungry, but you can get up early and eat. Let's see, when do you go to work? Ten hours. Yeah, I make this mistake every time because it just doesn't look late yet. 
And that's another thing with the um, the seasons because it's supposed to stay daylight longer in the summer, which it does. Because normally at nine o'clock it would have been pitch black. Why do you have to play outside? You're going to get struck by lightning. You know what? I'm going to let it happen. If you don't have sense enough to come in out of the rain, well, you'll just have to learn. All right, Jesse, you go ahead. Oh, man, where are you going? Okay, you just have to walk in that way. Yeah, there is a straight shot to your bedroom. We've seen lightning, but I haven't seen any lightning strikes. Now, I say that, you watch in just a second, she's going to get hit. I don't want her to get struck by lightning, that's me. But if she is going to stay out and do this in the rain, she has plenty of room right here she could have played. What is this? Light a firecracker? We have to go to the grocery store and get those. Let's see, what does she want to do? She wants to go to a dance club. Why don't we do that? Put you on pause for a minute. The only dance club I know that's in the town that I put in here, way up here. Go see if there's anybody out. All right, Jesse, uh, Elena, go on over there. Put your guitar away. Get your umbrella out. Let's go visit and see who's out in the town. I know you're tired, but you know what? You don't go to work until three o'clock, so you got plenty of time. Actually, no, you don't even go to work tomorrow, so you can stay out late. You start yelling at me when you get into Orange. Yeah, this is the reason that I put a lot of those different venues in the town because otherwise there's really not a whole lot to do except take them to the rabbit holes and watch them disappear. So I like to just take put other things in there where I can take them out and go do something fun with them for a while. Alright, let's see how far it's going to take her. Man. It is a ways up there, isn't it? Could take her to the indoor pool, which I love that pool. And with all this up here, this is fun too. And it kills me because I, I didn't realize until I went back and I watched the video. I unchecked horses, but yet I have the equestrian center. So it kind of like, what's the point? I mean, I know you can still go in there and you can use it as the rabbit hole, but, you know, it's like, come on. If you don't have horses in the town, why would you have the equestrian center? So I may end up taking it out eventually. I don't know. If we find something else that we want to put in instead, we can do that. Now this thing... Oh, see, that's all it took is just walking up to it. You didn't have to go in. You have the easy wishes. Who's our bar from Mixologist? Hubert something or another. I didn't even get that. Adcock. All right, is there anybody here? Oh, there are some people here. Who's actually here? We got Hank Goddard and Pauline Wan. Why don't we just go introduce ourselves to these people? Even though he's hitting on her, and she's probably not going to appreciate it too much, we'll still go do it. Oh, you must already know her. Now, I'll tell you a trick. If you want, in uh, late night, if you're playing in Bridgeport, and you want to get the casino in, well, you can't get the big Lucky Simoleon casino in, because it's really huge. What I do normally is I will take one of these garage doors that's on this side, and, oh, we got somebody that likes us. Okay, anyway, I'll take one of these garage doors out and put in one of the arches. And I put all my slot machines and my blackjack tables are all right back out here. Or I put uh, slot machines over in these little corners over here in this area. And then they can use this as not only a nightclub, but also they can make money. So that's just an easy way to, to get things in there that you want. All right. Why don't we dance with this guy for a little while? Yeah, you're getting up there, but that's okay. Poor Jesse's nice, and he's going to bed early. Susan Wainwright. Who saw Blair Wainwright? Yeah, this is not good. We need to actually be working on our relationship with Jesse, not with this guy, because this guy's not going to last very long with us. Huh. Yeah, I like the grind. Of all the clubs that came with Late Night, it's probably the one that I like the most because it's easy to get in and out of. No elevators, no bouncers, nothing at all. So, pretty simple. Alright, it's getting kind of late. Why don't we go ahead and say your goodbyes to this guy. Can you say goodbye to him? 
Uh, then tell us to say goodbye. Hmm. Well, I guess we can just leave then. You did your dancing. You got your wish. Yeah, say goodbye. Good work. And basically by the time she gets home, Jesse's going to be ready to get up. He is hungry. Let's see. Not enough money to get him anything decent. I want to get some stuff, some appliances out for him, but they need a better kitchen. This house just gets really small really quick. If he gets up, he'll have plenty of time to cook something. But I guarantee you he's going to burn it. He's going to burn the house down because he, he doesn't have natural cooking ability, does he? Oh no, of course not. That would have been just too easy. Okay, we're going to have some major flood damage over here. Yeah, well, if there was insurance in this in this game, it might be something that would start to cause us to pay more money. We don't need to pay more money. What was that? I heard something. Oh, UFOs are out. I hear them. Where are you? Let's go into map view and see if we can find them. I heard it. I did hear it, I just didn't see it. I'm not fast enough. Okay. That's that stone. Man! They're not supposed to be this bad. They're grumpy. They're mad at me. Okay, now I understand why she's mad, but you know, she wanted to go dancing. I was just doing what she wanted. He's hungry, I know, but he's gotta sleep first. So I'm going to let them sleep, and I'll be back in just a moment when they're up and ready to go on. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, well, Jesse got up, and the carpool's coming in less than an hour, so he really doesn't have time to cook and eat. So I'm just making him have leftover autumn salad. He is not happy. He's disgusted from what? Oh, it must be the food is bad. Is it? Oh, it is. I'm sorry. Go ahead and get rid of that. Yeah, I know. I didn't know it was bad. Why don't you just have a quick meal of cereal, good old standby. So, it went bad really quick, because she only made it. Oh, she left it out on the counter the whole day. That's why. All right, Jesse, I've got to work on you, because you will be horrible at work if you don't get smooth up. Okay. We'll get rid of that, and then we'll be okay. <laughs> oh, no! No, you're going to eat first. If you're late, you're late. But you need to go ahead and eat, eat breakfast. Okay, now we got a cat. Stray cat, stray dog. We wanted a pet, and we had no problem getting them. I think today is the day of hail, if I'm not mistaken, so I don't know. We didn't get robbed, and it's only, well, it's only Wednesday. Normally I get robbed in the first couple of days. So this is kind of a new thing. Alright, she is off today. We're going to have to find something for her. Well, I know what we're going to do. We're going to take her back to the festival, because she's never been. And then we're going to get them, we're going to get their relationship built up, so. Alright, how are you doing, Jesse? Looks like you went back to green. You're okay, but your mood could be better. You didn't get to clean yourself. You are going to be smelly when you come home. That's okay. Well, we'll send you off to work. She's got plenty of time before she gets up. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the part here, and when we come back, She's going to wake up, we're going to take her down to the summer festival, and we'll start working on, if she ever gets any wishes, we'll work on something. But right now, she doesn't want to do a whole lot. And if that's the case, we'll just start working on their relationship and see if we can get them a little bit stronger, a little bit further ahead. So thank you for watching. I will see you all in Episode 4. Um, of course, if you have anything you want to comment, please put comments down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.